With the NHL trade deadline less than a week away now, the Flames are still planning on making some big moves. And after the Chris Tanev trade, there's a new number one spot on the NHL trade bait board, and that is, of course, Noah Hannafin. A new report has revealed that the Florida Panthers are seriously pursuing the Flames' stud defenseman, and it'll also throw in a potential blockbuster trade that has also been revealed. We'll get into all of that in this video, but before we do, like I said, the NHL trade deadline is right around the corner. And what does that mean? Well, it means that moves are coming. With all the rumors and reports that have been coming out around the Flames, fans have been expecting a lot of major shakeups, which should definitely be exciting for hockey fans. And if you need extra excitement in your life, then it's time to move. And Rentals.ca has your back. Rentals.ca is Canada's largest apartment hunting network. You can rent houses, apartments, condos, whatever it is, Rentals.ca has you covered. From coast to coast, you can go straight to Rentals.ca website that's extremely clean and easy to use. And you can pinpoint exactly on the map where you want to move and Rentals.ca will find you the best rental listing. And Rentals.ca, they are big NHL fans. They have been major supporters of the channel. So if you want to spice up your life a bit, make a big move, then make sure you check out Rentals.ca. You can click the link in the description or on the pinned comment. I highly recommend checking them out. But like I said, the big news now that Chris Tanev has been shipped away to Dallas, we need to shift our focus over to Noah Hannafin. And last night, the Flames played an amazing, amazing, amazing game. And it was obviously Kipper's retirement game. And it was a beautiful, beautiful sight to see. And obviously the Flames, they got the big win, a 4-3 win. The night started with 3-4 going up to the Raptors. The Raptors, not the Raptors. And obviously it ended with a 3-4 score on the scoreboard. A 4-3 win, major comeback. What a goal by Nazem Kadri. The Flames, what a comeback by them in the third period. It was a fantastic game. So great to see Mika Kiprasov. He is such a great personality. He was so funny poking fun at Iggy saying the only thing Iggy couldn't do was score on him at practice. And it was great to see some of the other alumni there. Ones that, you know, you wouldn't totally expect to be there, like Stage In and Warner. It was great to see Regeer, obviously Iggy, Marty Jelena. The list goes on. But what a beautiful ceremony and what a way for it to end after the Flames did not play too good to start that game. They were amazing. But the main focus of this video, of course, is that the Panthers are making a push for Noah Hannafin. Noah Hannafin, it's kind of known. He wants to go to America. He wants to go somewhere with better taxes, better weather. Well, is there a better place to do that than the state of Florida? Especially South Florida, Sunrise, Miami, whatever you want to label it, where the Panthers play. It is a top, top destination. And they are seriously pursuing Noah Hannafin. They made it so close to the Cup last year. They were literally the Eastern Conference finalists, but they couldn't quite get over that hump. And this year, they're playing amazing again. Arguably Cup favorites, especially in the East. So could Noah Hannafin be the man to put them over the top this year? Well... Kevin Weeks has reported that although there are several other clubs in the mix, I'm told the Florida Panthers are making a push for Flames D-man Hannafin. Have to wonder if how this impacts two of their core D pending UFAs, Gustav Forsling and Brandon Montour. Very, very interesting here. So Forsling Montour, you know, obviously they're probably going to get paid this offseason. And Noah Hannafin he expects to get paid as well, but maybe he wants to sign and trade so that he can guarantee that he's getting paid and will play where he wants to go. Florida definitely has that opportunity. So kind of here with Florida, what Kevin Weeks is saying, are they willing to bring in Hannafin and maybe give up either Forsling or Montour or maybe both? It'll be very interesting to see what they decide to do this summer. But of course, we're going to focus on Noah Hannafin here. So this is from a, an article on The Score. Um, it'll, I'll have the rest of the article later in this video, but pretty much the Panthers part of it says the Panthers are the most intriguing team among those linked to Hannafin as Florida can afford the blue liner this season and has maneuverability in the off season. The team has over $5 million in space at the deadline, but is also expected to have a whopping 28 million in cap room this summer per cap friendly. However, Florida has several pending UFAs, including Sam Reinhart, Brandon Montour, and Gustav Forsling. Obviously, we just talked about two of those guys, but you throw in Sam Reinhart as well. Now, obviously, he's not a defenseman, but he is a pure goal scorer right now. He's over 40 goals on the year now. If you give the Florida Panthers a power play, not only is Florida most likely going to score on that, it's most likely going to be Sam Reinhart. 
and you throw Noah Hannafin into that mix, wow, you have got a deadly, deadly lineup right there. Noah Hannafin could fit in very well. But like I said, is Florida willing to give up maybe re-signing Reinhardt or Montour or Forsling? I mean, obviously, if I were a Panthers fan, I'd be, I'd be saying I'd take Hannafin over Forsling any day. But Montour, great player as well. Kind of like Hannafin a bit. And then Reinhardt, I'm sure they will want to keep him no matter what. So does Hannafin fit in there? There's a chance, especially since they can't afford him this season. And what, what would Florida be willing to give up? Well, this potential blockbuster revealed is just essentially that it's Florida and Calgary. They've made trades before. Obviously, that was back when Tree Living was here. But I'm sure Craig Conroy is still familiar with Bill Zito and how he runs things. So Flames and Panthers, they've made trades before. They have certain players on each team that would welcome in other players. Kachuk, I'm sure, would love to bring in Hannafin, another American who wanted to go play in America, bringing in a guy from Calgary. Obviously, we have Huberto and Uyghur here in Calgary. So Florida doesn't have their first round pick this year after they traded it away for Claude Giroux a couple seasons ago. But there is still the opportunity that a first round pick could be involved in just future draft years. And that's almost better for the Flames if they take a future first rounder as Florida is expected to go very far in this year's playoffs. Um, I'm sure Hannafin will go for at least a first rounder. If Tanev went for a second and a prospect like was asked with a conditional pick thrown on, I'm sure Hannafin can go for at least a first rounder and more. And I know Florida does have a few prospects in the pipeline, but I wanna know from you guys, Let's make up some mock trades. Let me know down in the comments. Hannafin to Florida. What could be the return for Calgary? What do you guys want back in Calgary? But to continue the Noah Hannafin talk, Hannafin wants a long-term deal. And now this isn't major, major news as I think everyone has known <laughs> before it was even trade season that Hannafin wants a deal. He's a UFA. He obviously had talks with the Flames. A deal was not getting done. I think we all saw that coming. But now we have, through the score again, and last night's Hockey Night in Canada, we have a bit of an F-bomb. Yes. Elliot Friedman. He was back at it again talking, and we have a little bit of a write-up there. So, report Hannafin eyes teams he's interested in long term. Noah Hannafin, the top defender available at the trade deadline, isn't looking to move twice in 2024. The Calgary Flames and Hannafin are focused on dealing the 27-year-old to a team he'd be willing to sign a long-term extension with ahead of the March 8th trade deadline, Sportsnet's Elliot Friedman reported on Saturday's edition of Hockey Night in Canada. The Boston Bruins, Tampa Bay Lightning, and Florida Panthers have reportedly shown interest in acquiring Hannafin. So obviously, we already covered the Florida Panthers part of it. That's the major, major part of this video. But... Teams we've discussed before, Boston and Tampa, they are right there as well. The Lightning are believed to be Hannafin's number one choice, Friedman added. Hannafin has tallied 11 goals and 34 points in 59 games this season while playing a career-high 23 minutes and 44 seconds per contest. He carries just under $5 million cap hit and is set to become an unrestricted free agent this summer. Tampa Bay is without rear guard Mikhail Sergachev after he sustained a broken tibia and fibula in February. The Lightning have $7.4 million in space with Sergachev's $8.5 million cap hit on long-term reserve. So just like Florida, Tampa can afford to bring in um, Hannafin this season and would be probably willing to sign him long-term if they're not going to commit to Mikhail Sergachev, which is really unfortunate for him, but might, might be good for Hannafin. It's, it, the game's a game. But... Tampa Bay, they don't really have the most assets to give back. As we've seen in the past, they've kind of traded away their entire future already. Are they willing to pry into that even more to keep the window open? I am not 100% sure. Oh, wrong button. Looking past this season, Tampa Bay will have just over $10.5 million of cap room this summer per cap friendly. Captain Steven Stamkos is the team's top pending free agent, and I'm sure Tampa Bay would rather re-sign Steven Stamkos, make him a lifetime lightning then bring in Hannafin, but there's the potential that they could bring in both. The Bruins, meanwhile, have a minuscule $57,500 of cap space available. That is not much. A definitely, that is less than what Hannafin will ask for, if you ask me. Boston is without defenseman Hampus Lindholm, but the defender is expected to be back before the playoffs, meaning his $6.5 million cap hit won't make room for a potential Hannafin acquisition. But the Bruins will have significant amount of room following this campaign, 
with $26 million in projected cap space this summer, according to Cap Friendly. Boston's notable pending UFAs are Jake DeBrusque, Matt Grizzlick, and restricted free agent Jeremy Swayman. So I do think if the Bruins want to bring in Hannafin, um, they will have to do a major cap dump. And if the Flames are going to pull the trigger on a trade with Boston, I would almost assume again that they'll get a third party involved to retain some salary, just like they did with New Jersey in the Chris Tanev trade. I think Boston would try their hardest to dump away Jake DeBrusque and Matt Grizzlick, but is that what the Flames are looking for? I don't think so. I think they'd rather have picks and prospects. As we know, Boston, they do have some pretty good prospects. Matthew Potra, Fabian LaSalle, Mason Lorai. They they are a little stra strapped for picks and cap space as we've seen. So I don't know. I like, I'd like to think that Florida will offer the Flames the best deal. And like I said, I want to see some mock trades from you guys, what you think could potentially happen as there could be a blockbuster once again between Florida and Calgary. We all remember the last time that happened with Kachuk being shipped out to Florida, Huberto Uyghur coming back. So the Flames and Panthers, they're not afraid to really stir things up and it could happen again with Noah Hannafin going to the Sunshine State to join Matthew Kachuk. That about does it for this video today. Make sure you check out rentals.ca. I actually just, my girlfriend recently just moved. Guess, guess what? She moved into an apartment downtown Calgary, used rentals.ca, made it as easy as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you're new around here. And of course, have a wonderful rest of your day.